it's Iceman32. Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest beta version of Fire Callouts. Create a folder on your desktop, call it whatever you want. I've got it set as Fire Callouts Beta. So open that. You're going to drag this folder over here. It's going to ask you for the password. If you already have this at this point, you know about the password, you know how to get it. So just enter the password in when it tells you to, right here. So don't leave that anymore. Over here, you're going to go to wherever your uh, root GTA is. For me, it's Steam, Library, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. You're going to open up your Fire Call. It's you're going to open up the readme file. Alright, this is your instructions. Before you go any further, clear out anything you have to do with fire callouts. Delete it. Get rid of it. So, got that one. <coughs> I'm sorry, I just have a little tickle in my throat this morning. Now we're going to go down here. Go to find fire callouts dot dll dot p b d that one and then if you have any other really the last version of the beta so you have it also in your uh, open IV go in there and delete it and we'll go back to our root menu here make sure to read and acknowledge the terms in the license folder step one step two make sure that all these are up to date. If you don't have the latest version of these, it won't work. Three, drag the contents of the folder of the GTA 5 fo folder into your main GTA directory, right? So that's this one. I'm going to open that. I'm going to copy all this up to the licenses. I'm just going to drag that over drop it in. We're going to replace. Wherever it says to replace, always replace. It's going to give you the most current and up-to-date version. So that that's done. We're going to back out. We're going to go to, into the LML package. So, assuming you already have Lenny's Mod Loader, you're going to have a folder in here for your LML. we going to open that. You're going to go to your downloader. This is where you're going to drop your fire callouts. All this. So you're just going to drag this over and you're going to pop that in. Now you're going to back out. At this point, you're done. Now we're going to back out of this and we're going to run it. Once we load it in, we're going to go on duty and see that it works after that we're going to back out and we're going to show you how to customize it just bear with it here for a moment Alright, now that we're almost loaded in. Takes a little bit, eh? <laughs> Hope that you guys find this uh, video helpful. Hit that like button and subscribe. And we're already on duty which is awesome. We know this by all the fire blips. And by the F2 menu. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to customize this. <coughs> oh, back out of here. When I say customize, I'm going to show you how to actually add it whatever vehicle you want. Go to plugins, LSP to fire, 
firecollins.ini. And there we are. Open OpenIV at this point. And the reason I'm doing this is going to find whatever vehicle you want. It has to be the exact name. So for me, it's mods x64, oh, mods update x64 DLC packs medic 4523 DLC x64 levels GTA 5 vehicles vehicles start RPF. Now just scroll down you can open these up to find whatever truck you want. All right, you have all of these in it if you want it. But for argument's sake, I just want to put in a couple of my personal favorites. So it happens to be this guy right here. So we're going to put engine 8C. Now read this very closely. You're going to go to the right beside FBI 2, hit over once, hit over again, comma, engine. 8C, comma, and I'm going to find another vehicle you like. Let's just say car 6C. So right beside that comma, hit over and over. Done. Type in car 6C. Alright, that's it. You can add as many there as you want. And down here, we want to change all this. Now, our engine can be left to the vehicle there. Our ladder, let's find us a nice ladder. I personally prefer to put, I think it, tower three or eight. I'm not really sure. Yes, I always put tower eight in, even though it doesn't have the outriggers. So let's try tower two. Yeah, we can put Tower 2 in. It's got outriggers on it. Or we can just put in a straight up ladder. Doesn't really matter. It's just how you want to customize this yourself. So we have our ladder 2. More ladder 3. So we're going to put Tower 2 in where it says our ladder. Right, delete this. I'm going to go in caps lock. You have to do it the exact way that's here. Oh, we're going to go tower three. Just to double check that, you know, we're naming this right. So if we don't name it right, it's not going to work. So tower three. Now we need a rescue truck. So we're going to go, we're going to find the rescue truck of our choosing. Whichever rescue truck you prefer to use. For me, it's always going to be Rescue 8A. It's just personal preference. I like the vehicle and I like the livery that I've got on it. Our Battalion Command Vehicle. So, open up all your Italian vehicles here. I'm the one that you like the best. Yeah, it, it's a, a tedious process here, right? But it's just whatever, you know. You just have to do it to find the vehicle that you like the best. Now these vehicles are going to show up at every fire alarm scene. That's what we're customizing right now, is the fire alarms. So we're going to put car 8B. Just like that, car 8B. 
I'm going to delete this. Right. 8B. Now we've got our two vehicles up here. You can add in every vehicle you have to this. As long as you do it exactly like this, it's going to work. Now we can close that. We're going to save it. Close open 4. Go back to our GTA 5. And we're going to run the game. Alright, here we are. Almost fully loaded in. Unfortunately, we're at our apartment here. Let's go and get out of our house. Now we're out of our house. Let's go to force duty. And it all is there. Now we're just going to get somewhere way out in the middle. Nowhere. I'm just going to teleport there. This is just to make sure everything's working. Now I have this cool little menu that gives me that. The ability just to spawn in any vehicle. We're going to lock up behind it. Once this menu right here pops up, we know we've done this right. Now we need to, uh, what was the other one? An engine. Oh. Silly, silly man. No, it wasn't that one. Bear with me here. I just want to double check. So it's engine 8C. For some reason it doesn't show up on that menu. Backup needed in Grande Sonora I'm just Desert. Just going to ignore that out. So here's engine eight C. I set off the alarm. And their menu pops up. So again, we've done this correctly. I want to get a, a fire alarm call out so that we know that we've set up all those other customizations on those vehicles. 
All units, we have a five alarm fire in Galileo Park Observatory. And there we are. We got the blip. We drive over there. We've set it up. Everything up correctly. And that's how you install the newest version of fire clouds with Lenny's mob loader. It's that easy, it's that simple. It's also how you put in many customization on these vehicles as you want. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel.